um, before I start this video, I do want to say um, um, I have my evil eye necklace on. So if there are anybody who is trying to send any type of bad energy, any type of downfall to handle my to handle my destiny on um, with this with the walk with God, that energy will be turned around back to the descendant the person who's trying to send that to me it will instantly go back to you so be careful and uh try not to set any bad intentions to this video or to my life because it will turn right back around to you i am very very much protected my angels and my all have a whole gang of angels and ancestors right behind me and god that are, that are protecting me protecting my whole aura so just be careful on how you are speaking about me because God do not play about me. I'm just letting you know my ancestors do not play about me. So if you are giving me evil eyes in this video, be careful, change your heart. Change your heart, ask God for forgiveness because it will be turned back to you instantly. It will not touch me. Hey everyone, I trust all is well. Um, I just wanted to come back and share a story it's not uh my personal story but it is a story that's in the bible about moses and but before i get to the moses story i would like to um show you well tell you um if you are being led if you feel like you are divinely led to do to do something or to start something new or to get back into doing something that you started but never finished that is God. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to start over. Do not be afraid to start from scratch because God is with you and he's going to help you with this. He's going to literally be walking with you on this path, this new beginning that God has ordained for you to start and finish. Trust and believe this whole journey that he is putting you on is going to be so worth it it is going to strengthen you from the in and out it is going to strengthen you emotionally mentally physically and everything about you is just going to change and even the people on the outside of you are going to notice this change so if you are being led to do something or to start a new beginning start don't be afraid of it. Do not do not be afraid of the power that God gave you because it was always in you. It was always implanted inside of you and God is with you. So, let's get let me get to the to the Moses story. God ordained, well, Moses escaped from Egypt from the land of Egypt, which is a uh, Pharaoh and uh, he escaped from that land. He'd been with them for years and years and years. They never treated him properly, but um Moses was ordained. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful flower. I mean a uh, beautiful butterfly. Lord, that's a beautiful butterfly. If I was when I was a kid, I, I probably would have caught it and put it in the jar. <laughs> but anyway, um yes. Let me focus. Moses escaped from the land of Egypt from the the people who've been treating him very horribly um yeah he was he escaped he finally escaped until he ran into god god found him and told him to go back he told him to go back to free the children of israel from slavery and moses was like why me <laughs> moses was like why me no like why me who am i to to go back to the, the land that I escaped from and, and 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 tell these people that I'm freeing the children from slavery that God told me to free them. Like, they're not going to believe me. Like, who am I to do this? And God was like, they will know because I will be with you. I will be with you the whole time. And that means a lot. When God promise you, promises you that he's going to walk with you, on this mission that he gave you you better believe it you better believe it and do and, and be obedient to his word you have to be obedient to his word so moses was very obedient 
although he doubted himself, although he did not believe that he can be this leader and go back to the to the land that he tried to escape from to free the children of slavery. So he went back, he was obedient to God. He went back and he told Pharaoh them and told Pharaoh them that, you know, I'm here to free these people. Let go of my people. Pharaoh didn't believe it. Pharaoh tried everything in his power to not believe what this what this message was that Moses was trying to tell them. Um, they was actually they was literally telling him to prove it. Moses let go of his stick, dropped that 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 stick, and it turned into a snake. It turned into uh, I'm kind of a little bit forgetting the story, but it turned into some snakes, and they was like, whoa, okay, okay. And Pharaoh still trying not he still trying not to believe it. He, although that stick turned into a whole snake. That was proof that God was really with Moses and God really told him to free his children from slavery. So and he did. He freed the children from slavery. He he made it happen eventually. Um so that lets us know that when we're on a mission, <clears throat> no matter how we feel inside no matter how how troubled we are even this trouble can be, be could have been for years and years and years he was going through trouble for years and years and years neglect so much neglect from the people around him from the people who had raised him because he wasn't raised by his own family he was raised by uh, a woman who took him in and raised him in Egypt so he escaped because he was sick of being treated so badly and and he had so he had he had a lot of faith in God so on his on his way to escaping from these people God found him and gave him a mission that's powerful I don't know if y'all get in this story but that is really powerful when God tells you to do something run because it's for a reason it's for a reason and trust yourself trust yourself that you can do it the more we degrade ourselves the more we self-sabotage ourselves the more we discredit ourselves the more we are dishonoring God so have a lot more confidence in yourself um, meditate pray to him a lot uh, build your relationship with God a lot more than you usually would I know you be like oh I pray I pray um, some people say they pray and it probably be once a week and that's probably that Sunday they went to church and then that's it. God doesn't want that type of relationship. God wants you to speak to him every day because we are his children. How you think your your, your biological daddy will feel or your mom will feel if you don't if you don't talk to them every day? If you don't go see you or go check up on your parents every day. They're going to feel very neglected. They're going to feel like like oh my god, my kids don't love me like oh my god, they don't want a relationship with me. You don't want God to feel that way. You want God to feel all the honor. You want God to feel all the love because we are the image of God. He put us in position on this earth. Whatever position that we are in, God put us there. He put us there for a reason. He put us there because we can handle it. He will never put nothing on us that we cannot bear. And on this mission, on this mission, on this mission to you um, trusting God and um, praying to him and having this relationship with him and walking with God on, on the way to your destiny. God is going to bless you tenfold <laughs> for being obedient. It's the obedience that God loves. It's the heart, the pure heart that God loves. So if you have a bad heart, you have a jealous heart, um, you like to gossip about other people that's not around. Um, you like to put spells on people and all this crazy stuff that's going on. You need to stop. You need to um, ask God for forgiveness. Forgiveness. Um, forgive yourself. It starts with yourself. You have to forgive everything that have hindered you or anything that made that made yourself feel bad. Like forgive yourself. Stop self-sabotaging yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself and and renew your mind with knowledge. Read books. Go exercise. Drink more water. Pray. And 
uh, maybe change your eating habits, you know, like, you know, get closer to God. It's so important, very important. And you will know when God steps in. It's a really, really divine, good, freeing feeling. You will know when God steps in. And um, if you don't know the voice of God, ask God, pray to God and say, God, are you really talking to me? Like, God, are you showing me these confirmation signs? Is this you? You know, he will tell you. He will definitely let you know. But you have to be, you have to silence your mind. You have to silence yourself and get away from all the distractions, all of the noise. You have to be somewhere silent, silence your mind and actually try to hear God's voice. <clears throat> but yes, um, if you on a mission, if you're on a mission to success, stay focused. Trust God that he is with you always and trust the process. Please trust the process. It's, it, it'll be so much worth it. It'll be so worth it. Peace, love, and light. I hope you got something out of that. And um, love on God. <laughs> Peace.